Hello everybody, it's me Nick the Brick, and thanks to Promo Bricks again, we got some information about Ninjago 2021 Summer Wave, which is just beyond insane. But yeah, the list is definitely very interesting, so let's get straight into it. So the first set is Sky Slasher Bike, which will be a 4 plus set, and it will contain 59 pieces, nothing really exciting here, we'll probably get that classic Legacy Kai, which already appeared in tons of sets. Next up we have Ultrasonic Assault Vehicle and it will include 729 pieces and yes this is the ultrasonic radar if you still didn't figure it out but either way this is absolutely amazing i'm so glad we are actually getting it like you know even a few days ago i was talking with some people like how is this not a thing yet so yeah i'm very excited about this one and also i have a feeling it will include that serpentine minifigure that is exclusive to epic j battle set as of now so now this is where the things get interesting, we got said Ninja Soul Ship Final Flight and that sounds like a remake of the Destiny's Bounty Final Flight and it says that it will include 147 pieces so actually that makes me feel like it's gonna be a junior set i really hope not but it just sounds like it and also the legacy bounty will be still on shelves so i really don't think you should get your hopes up by any means so now we actually have six sets for season 15 and the first of them is lloyd's hydro mac it will retail for 20 dollars and will have 200 than 28 pieces. It probably look like something like Kai's Jet from Prime Empire just underwater themed. Continuing the list we have Amphibian Submarine so yeah that sounds pretty interesting will probably retail for like 30 or 40 dollars and probably like a pretty good middle sized vehicle set nothing really crazy about it things actually got fairly confusing because here we have attack of the fire dragon for 563 pieces you know i was expecting this to be legacy set but it is saying it's from season 15 i guess i'm just a bit surprised because the next set is actually water dragon which will contain 737 pieces so yeah that's pretty amazing right there and you know we are getting two very decent sized dragons for the one season so i just thought that's fairly odd but either way i'm pretty excited to see how both of these look so what i think is the most exciting set is actually the temple of infinite sea and it will include over thousand pieces so it's gonna be very big and detailed structure build and i'm just a huge fan of sets like that so i'm really excited about this and i really hope it will turn out very nicely and the last set is Hydro Assault Ship, which will have 1,159 pieces. So yeah, I guess season 15 sets will contain quite a few expensive stuff. But yeah, either way, all of this is just a little sneak peek of what we are probably getting in summer. Keep in mind, we still need to get Golden Zane and Nia. So I guess they will come in some of the legacy sets that I mentioned a bit earlier. But yeah, either way, very awesome news, I'm really satisfied with what I imagine to be a pretty strong wave, so I would really like to hear your thoughts, for which set are you excited the most, what do you think will be the case with the bounty, and so on. But if you enjoyed, I would highly appreciate a like, and also subscribe, you haven't already, have a great day, bye!